Oh, hi there. You may know that Post Consumer released an album recently called Milk is Colder Than Blood. And one of the days we recorded for that, I decided it would be a good idea to film a behind the scenes video. But back in March, I had vastly less camera knowledge than I do now. I hadn't worked my first summer as a photographer at Camp Phillip, and I didn't really know what I was doing. All I had was my dad's Canon Rebel T1i. So I grabbed that camera and filmed the making of a song called Wrong Bower, as well as the beginnings of our recording for the song Trucks and Beer and Dogs and Women. So I hope you enjoy this first and maybe only episode of Vlogs from the Vault. Enjoy. Hey, and don't judge the camera skills. Thanks. Okay, Sam, let's go. <laughs> you remember the stairs? How did you, how did you do them? Oh, yeah, one second. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Oh, so, oh, oh. <laughs> We're gonna eat these. It's here now. It's gonna be there later. You should get a shot of where it's gonna, it's gonna be here. So just, I don't know if you can, it's gonna be like that. It tends not to, you tend not to be able to see it usually, but kind of thin, so you might be able to. Post-consumer. Welcome to Common Ground Studios. <laughs> Just to go over one last time, the idea that we had earlier was to So the idea is basically like, we've killed Cameron. It was cowboy name is Verde Green. <laughs> we thought, I thought we were pretty good. So, so this is the idea, right? Verde Green is dead, and Camp Cajon and Rug Tumbler are dragging his lifeless corpse through the woods. Camp is panicking. Rug's like, it'll be fine, man. And uh, and Camp, and then you hear a slap, and, and Rug's like, yeah, you're right, I probably should be more panicking. That's it. Uh, yeah, this is a bad situation. They fall face first into a stagnant pool in which is contained some sort of bacteria or fungus. They start to hallucinate, and they meet the ghost of Verde Green, and he tells them, like, like, bury me not! Like, some weird, like, thing. Like, 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 lay my ashes in the field of dreams and, and put pennies on my eyes so I can travel the river Styx. And, and, Verde, and, uh, uh, Rug's like, counteroffer, how about we just take you with us? Like, That'll be fine. Then they just travel the, the countryside. That's, 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 that's a good, like, intro starting, like, we're kind of just traveling. <laughs> Uh, we was playing some cards on Billy Green's land, lay a lie low, and I swear on your life, he looked at my hand. Couple of flapjacks in a ping can. Wrap your fist around it, grab it tight, grab it low. Don't ever let go. Like an instrumental. Lay lay low, lay lay low. Yeah, like. Oh, or like. Ole, ole, ole. <laughs> or something like that. Like he's had, he's he's had his last like the brisket. It's hard because he's fat and he was my best friend. <laughs> What are you gonna do, Sam? What are you gonna do? <laughs> Sam, wait, tell me, tell me, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna wake up, Cameron. No way! Bro, just don't, don't, don't do it though. Don't do it. You have it. Wake up. 
It is dumb though. We do have it oh. complete. Hope you enjoyed that. You could understand some of what was going on. Once we finished Ron Bauer, we started working on another song, Trucks and Bigger Dogs and Women, this verse. And actually, all of the verses we made this night did not make it onto the song. Turns out we were a bit too tired to be recording verses. But I thought this one was pretty funny, so enjoy. The Disney show in Latin had a lot of misconceptions in it. I once met a Persian man, and he was uh, easily offended. And I made some off color comment as to the scale of the fella. I, I'm telling you straight up, he was, he was, he was two knees to Jesus. All right, he was, he was, he was as too horrific as, as, as a ram bent. All right, he was, he was so round. You could have plopped him up in the sky, shined a spotlight on him, and thought he was the moon. Of course, he was Persian, so. I'll leave that up to your imagination. Point is, I informed him as to this girth issue, and he was believably offended. And I just said, hey man, don't take it personally. Take that two knees to Jesus. <laughs> two knees to Jesus. He was yeah, two knees to Jesus. What brought that on?